Alrighty, here we have uh, Cyber Citizen Shockman 3, The Princess from Another World, being played on Switch, courtesy of PR Hound. I want to thank them very much for the uh, review opportunity. Previous uh, two games were pretty good. Um, this one actually does a lot of things better. Um, well, uh, one thing better, actually. So... Uh, so we've got uh, options here, we've got controls, we have uh, video options, again, just like with all of uh, how Ride Like is ports, you've got display options, you've got RGB shader styles, again, I love the arcade glow, um, <laughs> it's pretty awesome to see there, again, I'm not going to use it. Uh, you have cheats here, so I've gone ahead and turned on the one hit kills and the invincibility, just because I want to get through the game. Uh, to see how it played, and it plays amazingly well. I'm going to turn off the uh, invincibility to the one that kills actually for this though. Now I did also have the uh, unlock bonus mode on. That all that does, as far as I'm can understand it, is just uh, it's just like a like a I don't know, it's it's hard to explain. It's not all that great though. And even the uh, debug menu, which gives you level select, um, it also uh, gives you cutscene select, but that doesn't make much sense given the fact that you can just pick a stage you want to play at right here. There's seven stages all together, though I, I will admit, I don't think it didn't feel like seven stages, and I'll explain why. So I'll go ahead and go back, go start the game. Now it does have save states, which is nice, so if you don't want to come back to it, you do have the option to do so. Uh, I love the FV sequences here. Uh, this is originally Turbo Graphics, uh, or sorry, a PC Engine release. So it's going to have uh, pretty awesome cutscenes. I love the fact that we get the the uh, Jeremy's dialogue and the, the English uh, subtitles. I love that. Okay, great sub, great, uh, great animation here. I'm going to go ahead and just skip this though, and we're going to head straight into the game. Again, great animation. Love seeing it, putting in where to skip it. So we've got uh, we have option mode. We have player one, player two. I'm going to do player one, obviously. We can play as one of two different characters. I'm going to play as the male character. I forget his name. Same guy from the original first two games, though. Um, and here's the game. Um, it is another great action platforming game, just like the previous two titles. Uh, the difference being here is that you get these um, vials, right? But they don't really do anything, as far as I'm going to understand it, aside from maybe get you a uh, extra life. Uh, pause the game, just literally pauses everything, but it keeps the music going. Uh, select doesn't do anything. Um, you do have a jump button, you have an attack, you have a turbo attack button. And that's pretty much the controls. Oh, you can hold start and hit. Sl oh, sorry. Excuse me. You can hit the. You can hold the plus button down and get to the uh, the uh, uh, menu there for the uh, uh, emulation side of things, which is handy because the first two games didn't have that option. That option was. I believe that was the game that I covered where it was completely broken. So I'm glad that's that's fixed. Now, what's cool here is that <clears throat> you can uh, you hold the, the plus button here, come to options, go to cheats, and you can just enable invisibility and when it kills if you want it at any time. And now you can just blast your way through the game. And if you wanted to, you can actually even rewind the game with the ZL button. You can even fast forward the game, make it really quick if you hold down the ZR button. That's pretty cool. You literally just coast through the entire game with visibility on what it kills. <laughs> and the best part is just... There you go. I thought this was a little ridiculous and really kind of cool. This this mech um, sequence here is pretty, pretty awesome, actually. <laughs> I kind of laughed for some of like, wow, that's kind of awesome. Just kind of 
took the whole metal slug concept and just turned it up to 11 right here, I feel like. <laughs> Instead of a giant tank, you have a giant mech that's jogging down the road. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, this is the only time you actually do this. You don't, you don't do this in any other uh, stage. But speaking of stages, um, so there's multiple stages in the game, right? You really have no clue, no indication that you're moving on to, an, on to a new level outside of the fact that the screen fades. There's no introduction sequence, there's no title uh, sequence for the stage, you're just thrown right in here. So when it said seven stages, I was like, ah, that's kind of interesting, I didn't realize there were seven stages, because it doesn't tell you what stage you're on. So I don't really like that. I wish that it would have given you an overlay saying, yeah, stage one, stage two, etc., etc. But that's not the case with this game. Um, also, there's no... So you have a charge attack. Like a little orb you can fire if you hold on the attack button. But there's no indication to that. There's no indication. There's no indication at all. The, the, the bar up there doesn't, doesn't flash. It doesn't fill up. Nothing. Your character doesn't flash. You have no indication that you're going to fire that orb. Outside of the fact that you know you're going to hold down that button and the orb's going to come out. Uh, horrible design choice. I'm not sure what they're going for there. They could have easily uh, made that a thing. I mean, NES games do it. So why couldn't a TurboGrafx-16 or PC Engine or, Turbo or whatever case would be a game like this have that um, feature? No reason for it. Um, outside of lazy design choice. Um, that's really my only um, gripe with, with this game is the fact that while well, that and the lack of there being overlay indicating what level you're on, there should have been an indication of the fact you're going to use this orb. The fact that it's not there is just terrible. And again, no, story, no stage overlay. Why? There's, there's a stage title overlay. Why is it not there? That should have been a thing. That definitely should have been a thing. I mean, I'm pretty sure the previous two titles had that in in those games. To some degree. You know what stage you're on. So, again, poor design choice. But, I mean, other than those things, the graphics are awesome. The sound effects are great. The music's great. Gameplay is... Okay, <laughs> it's a little repetitive, but it's it's a decent game. I mean, it's definitely an improvement over the previous two titles outside of this two things I brought up. Your character moves faster. Your character's bigger. And yeah, uh, overall, I, I would I would suggest grabbing all three games, because they're all really good in their own their own right, in their own merit. Uh, but if you've played the first two and you're like, yeah, I don't know about the third one, I'd say the third one's definitely an improvement over the previous two entries. And definitely worth checking out if you like the first two. Pick up the third. It's an awesome game. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the review here. Uh, I want to thank uh, uh, PR Hound uh, for the opportunity. I want to thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and as always, until next time, take care and happy gaming.